Welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, I had a couple DMs and comments about uh, going through the interior more. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Um, let's start with the door. So on the door, I have four Blue Ridge Overland uh, Velcro bags, and they are attached to this uh, bed rug that I use for insulation. Um, those are 2019 Ram uh, tailgate bed rugs that I used. Um, I use them all over the camper. I'll show you where the other ones are at. This one just has some gloves. This has coffee and other stuff in it. This is like things for the stove. And here I keep uh, batteries. Uh, what's next? Here we have the Goose Gear panel which I went over in another video. Um, you can find the link for that one right over here. Uh, let's see, down here is the front runner table. It only works when doors open to cook stuff outside. Uh, here we have the, the Goose Gear drawer module. This is the version one, which is bigger than the version two. I think the version two like comes up to like right here. I believe something like that so here we keep just the top is random camp stuff on the bottom here that is the actual on the bottom here this is the cookware stuff uh, next over here this is the utility cabinet also goose gear and in here we have more cooking stuff this is our kids little toilet we got a percolator a stove utensil set and then here on the wind doors this is where I have more uh, bed rug from the same tailgate uh, for the ram it's pretty perfectly in there next we got the alley cab water tank 13 gallons I have the version one of the, the goose gear like I mentioned so this mount doesn't fit right here but I think you only really need two like the middle two for it to be pretty secure and I'm only running one side of the goose gear. The other side is empty, so we have more space for now. And this is my ARB Elements fridge, which also doubles as a bench. Let's see. Oh, here we go. This is standard with the camper. This is two 12 volt cigarette lighters. Two USBs. And this is a reading light. That's not on. I gotta. Let's see where's the. Here you go. Switch is on. You got that on that side. And then around here, same deal on the passenger side. And this is. The bottom of the bed sleeping area where I keep my patches then on the other side here is the where this is the back side of the bed and here I'm going to put more Blue Ridge bags probably more of these I have four of these one for each of us my two daughters, my wife, and myself, and the more miscellaneous stuff on this side. Oh, another thing, I'm probably going to put a Blue Ridge bag right there, or a Molly panel, not sure. I'm actually going to put Molly panels right along here, too. New Holland Overland makes them. Uh, custom order, probably going to do that.
Down here is my water pump. And the line comes from the tank down here, down to there. That's about it, really. And there's this really cool shelf here. So when it's open, you can put stuff there. You can even cook there. Nothing too greasy. Maybe just boil some water or something. And this spot right here is empty because I have the, the fireplace coming in. It's already shipped. I'll pick it up hopefully next week. And maybe I can do an install video of that. I probably will. Like I said, this is the Peace Gear 1.0. I'm actually getting a 2.0. So if anyone out there is looking to run goose here but they only want one side this is the way to go because everything is bigger this is bigger it's wider it comes out more i think in 2.0 it's in more not sure how much and the drawer module is bigger like i said the 2.0 comes into about here so if you're only going to run one side this is the way to go it'll be for sale um i gotta take a big loss on this one sucks because when i got home after picking it up they just released a new one so someone's gonna get a really good deal on this so just if you if you're interested hit me up in the comments um dm me on instagram and hopefully we can make a deal all right let's go upstairs now upstairs we have six compartments well, not compartments, like little bags where you can put stuff when you're sleeping. It's good for headlamps, uh, socks, diapers, water bottles, books, anything you can think of, really. Um, like it, we get to keep this really big, thick blanket up here. I mean, really thick sleeping bag up here. There's no way I could keep this in the other campers I had. And if you have any of the other campers on the market, don't even think about it. It's not going to fit. Only here. And there's also a light up there. All right. Let's see. Back on this side. This is like the little back end of the bed. Probably when I get the heater when we sleep it'll probably be up most of the time to let the, ho the hot air come up. Um, sorry about the plane guys, I live right by an airport so that's gonna be heard a lot in my videos. Yeah and you could even take this off here. This is a cool part. Watch, check this out. You can take this mat off here. Lift this up and you can put it over here on top of the goose gear and it, it's a nice little bench and then this is another work area you can use computer put a lot of stuff up here organizing stuff downloading footage for the day put everything up here as far as the inside i think that's about it so that's about it for the walkthrough. I just want to do something nice and quick. The interior is going to change. That's why I didn't want to go too crazy on it. Once the interior is finalized and I get the 2.0 system in there, do a complete, more detailed walkthrough. So this is the initial setup. I'm get, picking up the, the 2.0 in a few weeks, I think. Um, not sure if I want Goose Gear to install it if I'm going to do it myself. So maybe there'll be a video for that. If this video helped you in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, check out my other videos. And um, thanks again, and I'll see you next time.